Anthony Huber was one of the men in house shot and killed during those protests last year. We want to bring in his great aunt, Susan Hughes. Susan, good morning to you. We want to extend our condolences to you this morning. You have had some hours to process the verdict. What message do you think the jury is sending with this verdict? Uh, you know, I, I, th I think they made their best efforts. I think the fact that it took four days um, perhaps gives us some encouragement that at least it was a difficult decision to, to reach. Um, one irony of this whole thing is that uh, the verdict came down on Anthony's mother's birthday. Um, that's a particularly hard blow. Susan, the defense said that Rittenhouse had a right to self-defense. You said that your nephew had a right to his own life, that he was intervening to protect other lives, an argument that the jury uh, rejected. How do you want Americans to remember your nephew this morning? Well, I think, you know, they rejected it because they stopped every attempt to say anything positive at all about any of the victims. Um, None of them deserve the kind of treatment they've received on the wild web uh, and, frankly, from some of the national media uh, who have different political views. Um, I want Anthony to be remembered as a person who really was just trying to get on with his life after uh, a difficult, some early difficult years and was making real, real progress in that regard. Um, and uh, if you have time, I, I actually, because I know your atmosphere in the morning is a little different, I, I'm tired of all the heaviness. I want to leave you with one little bit of a lighter note. In, in some of the photos you see of Anthony, you see he's wearing a cap, and it has the word bacon on it. Um, when his grandmother was very ill, we had a very strange... Anthony had a marvelous sense of humor, very, very funny guy and an interesting yeah. take on life. He he's asked his grandmother uh, how she... If you, if you believe in reincarnation, what do you want to come back? What animal do you want to be? And uh, she said, you know, a warm, fuzzy bunny. I just want to be, you know, cuddled in the next life. I don't want any pain. And uh, Anthony, she asked Anthony what he wanted to be, and he looked at her and he said, bacon. <laughs> and, um, just, uh, you know, he, he said, I want for, for once in my, you know, afterlife, to live in a house where people are rich enough to buy bacon. <laughs> mm. Well, it says a lot about his sense of humor and also how close he was uh, with his family, all of you. Susan Hughes, mm -hmm. thank you for your perspective, your remembrances, and your time this morning. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.